Tomato, please. More into that. Yeah. Just go with the chunky stuff. Yeah. One for you. Ooh. Here we go. Like just like that. <laughs> All right, let's do this. The key ingredient in making a Bloody Mary is obviously tomatoes. So I'm gonna start by chopping up these tomatoes and blending them. Boom. We need some celery. That's what's gonna give you the chewy effect. Can I borrow that knife? Boom. There we go. You kind of want it just about the size of the glass so you can stir it. So there's a stirrer and something for you to munch with. Tomato, please. Tomatoes. More into that. Yeah. Go with the chunky stuff. And one for you. Ooh. There you go. Like just like that. <laughs> Without any casualties. While we're waiting for that, we want to rim the glass with a bit of lemon. Get some salt in there. And uh, we kind of like our drink a little spicy. So let's put some pepper. Kick in there. The lime will get the glass wet. Are we ready with that? Why this? Instead of normal glass, we kind of need the filter since we're using natural tomatoes. It might get chunky. Alright, right, we roughly measure out two shots of vodka. Um, again, we're using this Grey Goose La Orange. Um, generally, try to use a, a vodka that doesn't have flavour in it. Um, but in this case, we're making it a bit fruity, hence the lemon, the lime and a little bit of Key ingredient, uh, Lee and Perrins. <laughs> Just a dash of All that. Right. For a bit of a bite, you'll need some uh, Tabasco. And I like things spicy, so I'm gonna just kick in a bit of ground paprika. Boom, that's it. So here we go. Probably get a leafy stick of celery. I got that for you. Uh, English parsley, garnish at the top. Thank you. Here we go. Boom. Good. Tomato juice goodness. Go green, save the sea life. Wooden straws. Pop that in. Boom. Done. Alright. Okay. Alright, let's try this. <laughs> okay. That was a bit too close for comfort, but. Yeah, not too bad. 